Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put on your boots, strap on your hats. It's time to yee-haw. Oh, we got the baddest show on dirt. We know that. We got calf roping, some of the best calf ropers in the world coming. Junior calf roping for the kids. Barrel racing, nothing like seeing fast girls on fast horses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the 13th annual Black Rodeo is back. You're looking at about 90 truckloads of dirt spread out and grinded down. In just a few hours, one of Jackson's biggest shows gets underway. Why so big? It continues to successfully pull off one of the biggest oxymorons, African Americans and bull riding? Everybody always asks, what's different? The music. music. Instead of having country music, we got hip hop, R&B, blues, old school music, something that we identify to. The show organizer is Frank Edwards, better known as Penny. The Black Rodeo is on an 18-city tour, making a stop in the capital city so financially profitable it might just tear a hole in Jackson's britches. This year we expect right at a million dollars of economic impact for the city, which is really great, um, and not only to the tourism industry, but the other businesses around the Coliseum area benefit from this as well. Yolanda Claymore with the Jackson CVB says 30% of the revenue circulating this weekend will be from out-of-towners, spending money on shops, restaurants, and hotels. We have a strategic marketing plan, which we incorporate events like this that go outside of this market to, to try to bring visitors into Jackson because Jackson is a destination and we make sure that Jackson is on the map. But a lot of people don't know a lot of things about history. They don't know anything about Mary Fields, uh, first those stagecoach driver, Bill Pickett, uh, the only cowboy, black American cowboy, that brought bulldog into it. Penny says a lot of people don't know that the first man to actually win the Kentucky Derby was an African American. It was 1875. His name, Oliver Lewis. Just food for thought on this Friday as the Black Rodeo kicks off. At the Coliseum, I'm Eric Walker, JSU-TV.